So the next thing is to take the head off. Now it's not entirely clear from the manual how many of these bolts need to be undone. Um, it describes the 550 how many bolts there are, but it doesn't describe how many on the 14, sorry, on the 404. Now there's four in the middle here, which uh, I don't know if they fasten the head at the rocker cover down or not I just don't know so I'm just gonna to have to play it by ear I'm gonna undo all the outer side ones first um, if that comes loose great and then do these it's not ideal because these are obviously taking if they are part of that it, they're quite tight they may hold the the actual rockers in in the in the top here um, so I'll just have to suck it and see because the manual just isn't clear and I can't see from the diagrams whether that's clear. I've also noticed that the two at the front here looks like they've been replaced or they've been cut um, to accept a, um, a standard screwdriver. I've tried to get these undone with a screwdriver. The socket doesn't fit, it's rounded. So I'm going to resort to whacking these with the impact screwdriver with that particular bit in the end of it, the, the sort of typical screwdriver bit. Um, I'm actually lying, I've done it already and they have come undone. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to undo all the outside ones, they're all sort of just, you can hear it when it clicks when you um, <laughs> use your socket, they go click and you know they're undone so they're, they're still uniform throughout um, I'm going to undo them all fully and hopefully these four ones aren't part of it but if they are then I'm just going to have to undo those and hopefully get this rocker cover off so I'll do that and if there are any problems I'll come back to you alright so I've done all those 17 bolts they're all now nicely loose and out um, doesn't feel like that head is loose but I'm just going to use this hide mallet with a hide copper mallet with a hide side just give it a couple of taps just to see if that will release that from there that feels pretty solid so what I'm thinking now is these four in the top are also part of holding this down and if that's the case that's a mistake because they're now taking the full pressure of those but you live and learn so I'm going to undo these four here they do feel quite tight compared to the other ones so I suspect they are now to Ooh, that's loose um, that one I've undone they're all loose now so I'll just whip them out and I'll come back to you once they're out Right, so yeah, they were part of the top. You can see that immediately because you can see a gaps now forming here, which means that a couple of these tappets, or certainly the springs, have helped push that off. Now in the manual it says there's some dowels on the back, so I want to be very careful that they don't drop down. First of all, I'm going to take these bolts out and bag them. Um, it's it's definitely oh, it's off. There we go. <laughs> Straightforward. Um, so I'm going to bag the bolts and then I'll show you what the underside of the uh, rocker cover looks like. Just before I do that I've noticed that quite a lot of these bolts are different lengths um, and as I hope to replace them um, in stainless steel because some of them have well some of them are a bit worn if I'm going to replace one I might replace them all I don't know yet but um, for this process I'm actually going to take one out at a time measure them and make a little chart to say where they come from and I'm going to start with this one at the front of the engine as number one work my way around that layer and then come back to the inner layer and then finally these four measure each one for length um, so I know which length bolts go in each hole. There's nothing worse than putting a long bolt into a shorter hole. If you do that, you've got a good chance of stripping it. So I'm gonna make sure I've got the right length bolt for the right hole. So I'll, I'll crack on with that. Um, and then I'll come back once I've done that. Well, before I even started that process, I might have had a bit of a result. Um, clearly, some are all the same length, all these long across 
ones across the front are all the same length. Um, we've got these two here. Oh, that's a longer one. That's a shorter one. Um, but this one is a really long one. That's one of those medium length ones. And if you look at the actual distance down into the tunnel, that would explain why that's a big long one. But the one where I've got a result, this back one at the left here, which we thought was stripped, which I thought was stripped, um, isn't the same length as the one corresponding on the other side. When you look at those two, that's considerably longer. Now when I've tried that back in that hole and it screws down, I am thinking that the reason that that one has stripped is because it's the wrong bolt. Uh, in which case, I might have had a bit of a lucky escape there on terms of having to have that re-threaded re or helicoiled. Because if I put the correct length bolt in it, it's probably going to pull it down. It's probably only the last two bits. Um, is that wise? Well, uh, it's been living like that with the shorter bolt in for how many years we don't know and it hasn't been leaking so I'm going to try it at least I know um, how to solve the problem in the future if that comes up but for the moment I'm going to go back to mapping knees but I'm pretty convinced that that one should be the long bolt certainly I've screwed it in it goes all the way in and feels pretty tight to the finger touch whereas that one literally does strip as soon as you get down even well to there you can you can keep turning it forever um, so I'm going to put one of that length back in when I come to do it. So that might be a bit of a result. So I've spent about an hour trying to sort out which bolts go in which holes and it's quite clear that this head's been off before, well for two reasons. One they had those two nuts there that were butchered and also quite a few of the bolts that went in were the wrong size. So I've made a um, plan of that and I'll just leave a still on there so everybody wants to download it. I'm not guaranteeing it's absolutely right. It's now loose, or rather the rocker is, and off it comes. Um, <clears throat> and that's, that's the next thing to dismantle. This rubber gasket you get a new one of those with the gaskets that I've noticed um, well and that all looks pretty good to be honest the faces are absolutely smooth there's no scoring on any of the carriers oh, I'm really pleased with that that's really good um, that looks perfect like new anyway let's uh, get on and dismantle that that's the top of the engine Right now I've got the rocker assembly um, over. I've already taken one out, it looks fairly straightforward. On the end of uh, here there's a cap bolt, which just comes off with a 14mm socket, it's straightforward. That comes out. I'm trying to work out what goes in there, it's actually this bar. And it's actually threaded in one end for getting the the bar out so I've just got myself a, a bolt a 10 mil bolt a couple of threads and it's so oily it just slides out beautifully and that's it so there's four of those to come out and then we're laughing it's the bar and then the tappets just lift out with a spring assembly like that Oops. Simples as they say. When putting it back together you can see on the um, inlet side you've got the spring, then the tappet, the tappet and then the spring. And on the uh, exhaust side you've got the tappet, then the spring, then the spring, then the tappet. Looking down at the rocker cover, there's the taco drive assembly just here. Um, this, this lives in here and I just use a um, screwdriver to push that out and that pushes out of the tunnel just like that. Um, there is a clip and a sleeve that goes in there as well which I can show you. Don't worry about the state of that to drive, it's actually in great condition. I've just greased it up just to keep it clean but the components that you have are essentially the drive, 
this sleeve which is a bit tight that goes inside with it so those those two would push back in on assembly you've got the clip spring clip here which goes in over the top and clips that whole thing into the head the next thing you have is your washer and then finally this oil seal that will push into the casing in this side of the tunnel just there so that whole assembly on the would go back into there when you're ready to put it back together I think probably tap that back in gently or push it in with a very small socket whatever and then put the oil seal back in finally that is the screw which is used to hold your cable in and that goes back in there once that's pushed back in you'll be able to see that that just clips into the groove on the, uh, on the sleeve just there but that just all pushes back through quite straightforward